Hey, how's it going guys? Hope you're doing great. So today I want to talk about supply and demand in a business. So if you guys took courses on economics or business classes in your college level or in high school level, you'll pretty much know a concept called supply and demand. What is a supply and demand? So if there's a demand in the market for a product and the supply is very low, then the price or the value of the product will go high. But if there's no demand of a product, but there's immersive supply of the same product, then the value of the product or the price of the product will go super low. A really good example, if you take a Bitcoin. In 2010, the price of a Bitcoin was very low because there wasn't any demand in the market. But in 2017, there was a high demand of Bitcoin. People were buying Bitcoin like crazy. The supply was very limited, so the price of the Bitcoin went super high. Now, how can we implement this into our app businesses? If we look at supply and demand graph, we can see that there's there's a there's a point right here where it all matters. And to give you a really good example how we can implement this, let's go to the uh, Google Play Store, and we can see that if you see Angry Birds type of games or any kind of games that's you know being played. The demand for this kind of games are very low right now. People have either played this game or they don't want to play this kind of games anymore. Now, there are a couple of companies like Voodoo. What they're doing, their games, is that they're creating a demand for their game. They're creating. I'm saying this again, they're creating. There is no demand for this kind of games in the market, but they're creating the demand for the market. Now, how they're creating, they're spending millions of dollars on Facebook ads to create the demand. But can they sustain their business? But is this business long term? No. That's because if you look at Ketchup's game right now, their download rate is going super down. Like, like literally down because there is a not any more demand. People are not typing Ketchup games here and downloading their games so their demand is winning so you might ask how can we as an independent developer we can make money but well, that's a good question so to find the demand for what kind of games people want we need to go to the google I'll start google.com Sorry guys, it takes a little bit time to load. Okay. So as as I discuss as I discussed in my book before that what kind of uh, games you need to create, we need to find what kind of keywords or what kind of games or apps people are actually searching for. So to do that, get search volume and results podcast. So Let's say we want to create a game that parents search for the kids who are 9 to 12 year old or who are 6 to 8 year old. So we have like tons of those. Now, what kind of games can we uh, find? Let's say we want to we want to find those customers. Uh, let's say we want to create something like makeup uh, girls makeup games. And we can click on the historical metrics. So as you can see, average monthly searches for makeup games for girls is 100,000 to 1 mil million people. That means 100,000 to a million people are searching for this kind of games. Not Horizon, not Mr. Gun, not Stack. They're not searching for any kind of these games. They're searching for this kind of games. Now, what happens if we type makeup games for girls we can see this game which is on the first rank and let's see it's wow it has 38,588 reviews 
more than 5 million people downloaded this game. See, this is this is the very good example of the game industry or the game market or the app business. And this is also ages 6 to 12. This is what I'm t trying to tell you guys. You need to know what you're creating for your customers. You can't just create some bullshit game and expect it like to grow. You need to know what's your market, what's your, what kind of people are actually playing your game and what kind of people are going to play your game. Now the question is can you make this game with bill blocks? Yes, you can. You don't have to create something like uh something like this where you can uh you know uh create just like make up the girl. No, you can literally create anything. You can like create a tap tap game with bill blocks which has makeup features. I mean, it's just a matter of what you're creating. And you have to know what you're actually creating. And there's actually a lot of games about girls' makeup. So this is what, what I'm telling you. First, know what you want to create. See if there's a demand for that kind of creation in the market. And check who's the best players in the market. Can you bid this uh, thing? Yes, you can. At least you can get 1000 to 2000 downloads a day. You don't have to get like this kind of thing. If you do, it will be really better. But if you don't, you're still going to make quite good amount of money. So I hope you learned something from this video. I'll post more videos about App Store optimization. Uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to buy my ebook, which I wrote for my three years of experience, I have uh, over a million downloads from only one app. And how I got into this app business, I wrote everything in details in this book. Uh, you can find it here. It's called the Orlando Solution website. If you go here and click on here all the way down, you'll see there's a product which is Google Play, Black Ad Marketing. So. I discussed about uh, it's like twenty dollars, which is almost as price as a as a pizza from Domino's, which is really cheap. And you can see pretty much the proof that I get how you can manage this. And I urge you to read what I wrote. It's not like something you're gonna download and put this up and you're gonna get boom like a million dollars. No, it doesn't work that way. You have to be consistent. What do you do? And I posted like some free. Uh, you know, abstract optimization, tricks and trips. Hope I can see you guys around. Thank you so much.